the SAT is a big fan, as I've mentioned before, of fractions and decimals. And this is all wrapped up with percents. Percents, the SAT loves percents. So you really got to know how to deal with percents and how to convert comfortably between them as necessary. So first remember that a percent just means out of 100, right? Just like a decimal in some ways, right? A percent is how many out of 100 units. So here we've got a table, we've got some things entered into these lines and we want to convert these into the spaces that are missing. So let's do that. Percent to fraction, how do we do that? Simple, to do this, take your fraction and put it over 100. So take, or sorry, take your percent and just put it over 100 and you're done. So here for 25% to a fraction, we would do 25 over 100, right? Cause it's out of 100. And we would simplify that down to one quarter. So this is just one quarter. How about a percent to a decimal? To do a percent to a decimal, you just move the decimal point over to the left two spaces. Move decimal left two digits. So for 25%, we take that. Remember, it's not written, but there is a decimal right there. Move it to the left twice, and we get 0.25. All right, how about a fraction to a percent? This is a bit weirder because it's better to use a calculator here. In theory, we could do it with certain fractions by hand, but I'll do it both ways. So one way to do this is just take out your calculator. So here's my calculator. Divide nine by 200. Oops, nine divided by 200. You get 0 0.045. And then convert that to a percent by reversing what we did here. So just move this over two spaces, we get 4.5%. That's one way to do it. I think that's probably the best way with a calculator. You can also do by hand. So we have nine over 200. I could reduce this. This is the same thing as 4.5 over 100, right? Because I've you know, removed a two from both of them pretty much. And now I'm just doing 4.5 divided by 100. That's just you know moving this over two spaces. If I wanted the decimal, which I'll get in a second, but notice this is just 4.5 out of 100. That's 4.5 percent. That's the definition of percent out of 100. So again, I like the calculator method better, but you know, obviously, whatever works best for you. So this is 4.5 percent. How about a fraction to a decimal? Well, we already did that. We divided. So basically, just divide your fraction. This is an easy one to get in your calculator. And that gives you your decimal, so that's easy. So we did that, we get 0 0.045. How about a decimal to a percent? Well, here you just reverse what we looked at before. So a decimal to percent, you move decimal two places to the right. So in our example, we had 0.45. To make this a percent, we just go boom, boom. We get 45%, so 45%. To go from a decimal to a fraction, again, it's a bit weird. Um, I don't think actually it's better to do it with a calculator. Some fractions work out okay, like you can plug the decimal in and there's a key that makes it turn to a fraction. Sometimes not super reliable though. Though in general, you're never really gonna have to do this. If you've got a decimal, it's as good as a fraction. But just in case, we have 0.45. What you do is you read the digit. So remember, this is the tenths place. This is the hundredths place. So we have 45 hundredths. Right, 45 hundredths, well there we go, we have 45 out of 100, which by the way is 45%, and then we would divide that and we would get 0.45. Again, very roundabout, not super useful. Really, you just gotta know how to deal with percents, how to get a fraction to a percent, how to get a decimal to a percent, and vice versa, those are the important ones. So we go back up here, and this was point, or 45 out of 100, which reduces down to nine out of 20, right? Okay, so what about translating? So translating is something that we do all the time on the SAT. It's very important to know how to do this. Now, if we look at a question like this, what is 25% of 50? You might have learned the is over of method. You might have learned is over of is equal to percent over 100. And while that works on some percent questions, I don't think it's very generalizable to every percent question. So I prefer a different method. Uh, so you can see here, if I did it this way, I would say, so what is 25%? So 25% is my percent, so I do 25 over 100. My of is 50, so I put this 50. And my is is my what, that's what I'm looking for. So I'd have this and then I would you know, do what I gotta do and I get x is 12.5. That's the is over of, but again, it's not super reliable. I prefer these translation rules and these are very important, so make sure you learn them. And we're gonna 
do some examples in a second so you can see how they play out. And there will be more examples in the SAT Math Tactics series, so go ahead and check that out too. So when you're in a question when you have what or a number, anything like that, that's your variable, that's your x, that's your n, that's your whatever. When you see is or is equal to or even past tense was, that's your equal sign. When you have percent, that's of course your percent, but you put that in the decimal form in your equation. And the most important one is right here. When you've got of, it means multiply. Of is multiply. Of is multiply. This is the key to a lot of questions for translating from words into an equation. Let's look at an example. 32 is what percent of 96? So let's translate this. 32, okay, 32. Is, well that's is equal to, so equals what percent, so it's x, and we're looking for a percent as the answer, of is multiply, and 96 is the number we're multiplying by. So we go ahead, divide both sides by 96, we're going to get one third, which is the same thing as 33.3%, yada, 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 converting back to a percent. All right, so that is translating that one. How about this guy? This is a real SAT grid-in that I grabbed from, I think, it, I don't remember where I grabbed it from. It's a real SAT grid-in, though. If A plus B is equal to 125% of 4B, what is A over B? Looks super crazy on the surface, but it's not too bad. So let's just translate. If A plus B, so A plus B, is equal to, equals, 125%. Now be careful, what is this as a decimal? We're moving the decimal over two spaces, so it becomes 1.25. Of 4B, so times 4B. What is A over B? Well, let's go ahead and just do the work here. So we get A plus B equals 6B. So now we go ahead and... Actually, wait, no, wait. 1.25 minus 4 is 5. Okay. I was waiting for a second. Like, what's going on? Yeah, so this is 5B. So I subtracted B from both sides. I get A equals uh, 4B. Oh, there's a second mistake. In your uh, workbook... In the study guide, this will read 2b because I'm going to make the change, but this should be 2b. So we get uh, a plus 2b, so we get a equals 3b, so we get a equals, well, we're looking for a over b, so divide both sides by b, so we get a over b equals 3. So that would be your ratio. Sorry about the typos. I uh, hope you followed, right? So we let's just r run it through again. We have a plus 2b equals 125%, so that's 1.25, of multiply 4b. 1.25 times 4 is 5, so a plus 2b equals 5b, so a equals 3b. We want a divided by b, so we just divide both sides by b, and we get it equal to 3. Let's do one more example. If 20% of m is 40, what is 15% of m? Let's translate. So 0.2 of m times m is 40. What is 15% of m? Well, m in this case would be what? It'd be 40 divided by 0.2. which is 200. And what, now we want to know what is 15% of M. So what is 15% of M? Well, that's 200, so we'll plug that in. So now we just do this times 0.15, and we get 30. And that would be our answer. So that's translation. Once you get good at it, it works in the percent questions. It works, it works in translating uh, words into equations, just algebra without percents. It works in a lot of different ways. So definitely get a handle of this. And for a lot more examples from real SATs, check out the SAT Math Tactics series.